and the vicinity of Dr. Sun Yat-san's former residence is a beautiful small town called Sanxiang, where in a hilly area is situated the Xiaolang Huan Park. At its foothills is the foraminiferal sculpture park, an attraction integrating science, art, and marine culture. The first of its kind in the world. Sighted in this park are 114 variously and uniquely shaped stone sculptures of foraminifera, which are unicellular animals averaging 1 mm in size. Here enlarged thousands of times their original size. Foraminifera are so called for their having one or more openings to their outside environment. They live in the sea, from intertidal zone to 10,000 meters deep, and are found all over the world oceans. The protoplasm of the living animal within the shell looks like a macroscopic speck of egg white, with a nucleus and the surrounding organelles which carry out life processes of locomotion, digestion, respiration, reproduction, etc. Its life circle is short. From a few weeks or months to about two years when cultured, some species can reproduce sexually and asexually. According to their life habits, they may be benthonic, living on the sea bottom, or planktonic, living and drifting in the water column. Planktonic Framiniferae, with only about 50 species in the world, are very abundant in number. Their sedimented tests on the sea bottom, called Framiniferal Woods, can cover 34.5% of the ocean floor. Foraminifera can either have one or many chambers. Their tests may be of self-secreted calcium carbonate, perforate or imperforate, glassy or pulsar nailers, an appearance or of agglutinated foreign material such as sand, sponge spigules, microflakes, empty tests of foraminifera, Unicellular microscopic algae, etc. Foraminifera with very abundant and diversified preservable tests have a geographical history of 500 million years to present. There are some known 40,000 fossil species and 6,000 recent species in the world. Some 1,500 recent species are known and described from the China Sea, used as biostratigraphic markers and bioindicators of different post and present marine environments and widely used in many scientific disciplines. They have been dubbed tiny giants of of the Great Sea. Of the 114 foraminifera sculptures in this world, including Paleozoic recent species, there are six species of Quaternary foraminifera found in Zhongshan, which are evidence that Zhongshan in the geographical post was once a shallow sea. Can you imagine? Original models of the shells of the tiny foraminifera upon which these sculptures are based are personally carved out of the hands of a slave. They told a lady, 
who has a lifetime of research on them. 在他的坚持下，进而制作成石雕。Is the same lady who is six years time ambitiously and determinedly set her heart at the realization of this attraction to serve as a perceptible legacy of Mother Nature to the world. She personally supervised and made quality inspections of the sculpture work in order to be loyal to their beautiful natural morphology endowed on them by Mother Nature. When you are surprisingly amazed at witnessing such a never-before-imagined beautiful attraction, and wondering who engineered its unfolding, please thank her and remember her by Professor Zhao Yijiang, member of Chinese Academy of Sciences. 雕塑园里头一共一百一十四座雕塑，其中有五个雕塑。是三箱，古代的有孔虫，三千多年前，三箱曾经是海，中山寺三箱镇政府，对我们海洋研究所研究出来这些有孔虫雕塑感兴趣，而下了决心，想在三箱镇建一个有孔虫雕塑园。首先，它是世界上独一无二的，集科学、艺术和海洋人文为一体的雕塑园。作为一个中山人，特别是老家是三乡镇的，所以我感觉到这个意义更大。有孔虫可以指示环境，每五年都有一次国际会议研讨有孔虫，但是它的。美学价值很少人，嗯、呃，作为一个专题研究，所以呢，我感觉到呢，美学价值对于老百姓是容易知道，而且把它放大成模型、成雕塑，广大观众首先会欣赏到美。事实上，有孔虫在。设置领域可以起很大的作用，在建筑、家具、糕点、灯饰、服装的装饰，都可以利用有孔虫的美丽的形状作为图案。研究有孔虫到今年是五十一年了，科学意义很大，美学意义也很大。The Foraminifera Sculpture Park is a joint project of the Institute of Oceanology, Chinese Academy of Sciences, and the Sanxiang Township Government. The government, with great foresight and boldness, of vision made at millions of fans in carrying out such a huge project, entirely designing, planning, construction. Environmental building and management laid a solid foundation for its establishment. The government is very thankful to private sectors for donations made to cover the cost of some of the sculptures. For example, donations from Qingdao include the Qingdao Government Company at Wing Chan. Su San Feng, Charles Chan, Dati Wong, Philippines, Chen Xiuang, Chen Xiuang. 李肯斯·钱，赵元斯·钱，郑光明·钱，辛瓦旺·汉康，乔富·辛瓦旺女士。
Dr. Mel U.S. National Science Foundation, Marine Geological Sciences Center Director. 1980, Francis Shepard Medal for Excellence in Marine Geology by the Society for Sedimentary Geology. The American Geophysical Union's 2004 Ocean Science Award for Outstanding Contributions in Ocean Sciences Letter of January 10, 2009 to Professor Xiao Yi Zhang. I'm sure your works, both scientific, educational, artistic, community service, as well as humanitarian, are guiding light for others to come in your footsteps. Especially the new generation. Your sculpture garden is only the tip of the iceberg. What shows publicly but what is hidden from the general public is even greater. I'm sure your legacy will live for a long time. You should be proud. I certainly am. You'll be your friend. 2009, 17th of August, Dr. Bell Leo Heck wrote. It will indeed be a unique facility, a match it anywhere in the world. Once the port becomes known widely abroad, it could become not only an important tool for the scientific world, but also for the general public as the only foraminiferal park. 2007, 4th of December, Professor P.C. Liang Bingzhou, the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Thank you for introducing to me about your research and work. I look at the Sunshine for Rami Nefro Park picture, and it is fascinating. That is wonderful community work for public education, which I believe is as important as research. 2006, 17th of March, Alfred Cannon, Managing Editor of Agra for Women in Science. Many thanks for sharing your beautiful sculptures with us. What a fascinating project. We would like to post the photos of your sculpture on Agra along with a short article written by you. If I may say so, you are obviously an accomplished sculptor. I think our readers will enjoy hearing a few lines about how you manage to mix the demands of science with the demands of art, as well as your ideas on how the world of art and science come together.